Konnichiwa. Today's daily devotional is for January the 28th, 2020, and it's called Hand Him the Tools, but Don't Tell Him How to Use Them. Okay, I'm going to start with Isaiah 44, 13. The carpenter stretch, stretcheth out his rule. He marketh it out with a line. He fitteth it with planes, and he marketh it out with the compass, and maketh it after the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. Okay, my dad was a handyman that really took pride in his work, okay? Even though I cannot even remember him ever finishing anything that he ever started, okay? <laughs> My mom may be the reason for that because she was always there waiting on him to make a mistake, all right? Anywho, I have the fondest memories of them every single time he would attempt to get something started and finished because she would be standing close by and watching him like a hawk. Like I said, she was always criticizing, right? So she would say things like, do you know what you're doing? Or do it this way or do it that way. Or she would always say something like, I'm gonna call a plumber. I'm gonna call um, the electrician to do it because I don't think you know what you're doing, okay? And he would be shaking the entire time, like trembling, you know? Because she says that um, he was shell-shocked from the war or, you know, I know she said one time he was trying to fix something on top of the roof and he fell down and from then on he had like um he was afraid of height so she would just make it even worse so it would be to the point where um they just start arguing and then to the he would just get so angry that he would go outside he'd slam the door and sit on the porch and smoke a cigarette and pop a can of beer open you know and he would sit there until she left to either go shopping or go to church two of the places he was not going okay and he'd be like take them kids with you you know so anywho those two i just love them to pieces you know and i'm sure they're like because they're resting peacefully right next to each other so hopefully okay they are not fighting any longer okay love them all okay all right okay so that brings me to Acts 18, 25 through 28. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in the spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them and expounded unto them to him the way of God more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him, who when he was come helped them much which had believed through grace. For the mightily convinced the Jews and that publicly shewing by the scriptures that was Jesus Christ. Okay, yesterday afternoon, I went to Michael's, you know, the craft store, okay? I went to get something that I had, and I ended up getting something I had any business doing. Um, anywho, and I was waiting in the checkout line, and you know how they always have these fun little things there? Well, someone had misplaced a chocolate toolkit for kids. And I remember just standing there staying, saying, oh, this is so cute. I wished I had a little boy to give that to, you know, and the line moved a little bit. And then I kept staring and I couldn't leave it. So I grabbed it and I said, I have five handymen at work that I can give it to, okay? Because I have five pieces of chocolate and a wrench, a hammer, a, or whatever, okay? So I grabbed it. All right, and so this morning when I got in, I, I ran to head upstairs to, to give it to the guys, but on my way, I ran into one of my favorites, Christian, and he was in the cafe, so I told him what I got, and I was so excited, so he grabbed me and he hugged me, and then he said, I want the wrench. 
He said, put it on my desk and don't let those other boys touch it. So I put it on his desk and I, um, along with the other guys, I put it on a plate and I put a napkin on it and left it on the desk and I sent them an email letting them know how much I appreciate them and, you know, and, um, and as I was leaving though, Christian had came back to his desk and he was eating it for breakfast. All right, so they emailed me back and they absolutely loved it. Like, you know, they really thought it was awesome, okay? Now, I know some of you probably thought I should have given it to my son, but you know what? He has a girlfriend, okay? All right, and she can buy him one. That's her handyman, all right? That joker don't do nothing around my house no more. He don't fix nothing around my house when he comes to visit, okay? Mm. All right, so, and besides, these guys really appreciated it okay all right and because that's their job they do this five days a week at least you know and um while they're performing and they built things for me you know and while they're doing that I sit back and I tell them how strong they are you know encourage them you know and how smart they are because they don't have to look at the instructions like I do you know they can just put it together okay and they appreciate that you know I do it lovingly and um they love that you know so you know, I want them to feel the gratitude with this small sweet gesture and I believe it, you know that it means a lot to them because little things do okay all right so my power thought um is when you're sweet and thoughtful you can get by serving a short order just like a thirst is quenched by a simple tall glass of water all right and i'm going to show you a picture of christian with his chocolate tools he was so happy he told me i can show it because he knows i love social media and there's the empty box okay love you guys have a great day Mwah.